Hey guys. So I was talking to what I believe is to be a young earth creationist. A guy called Your Mum Last Night. And that really sets the tone for the rest of this video. So I was talking to your mum last night. And uh, he said he didn't believe in evolution. I said it doesn't matter whether you believe in evolution. The natural phenomenon still takes place. But he doesn't believe in evolution. And uh of course, we got on to talking about the origins of the universe. I said, wait, what? Evolution doesn't even tackle origin of life on Earth, never mind origin of the universe. So, origin of the universe. And uh, it got on to the question of, well, what started it all? And I said, well, best idea of what came before the Big Bang would be energy. This of course got turned into a straw man. It became magical energy which uh, lives forever and somehow magically creates matter and breaks through barriers of dimensions. Now don't ask me about the last bit because I'm still waiting for him to explain that. Not because I don't understand but because it makes no sense. So uh for the first bit, energy that can live forever, I responded with, well, law of conservation of energy, where matter and energy cannot be created nor destroyed. And uh, for m being able to magically create matter somehow, I have qu quoted E equals mc squared. Now, this is where it starts to get interesting. I said E equals mc squared, and he responds with, did you mean E equals mc squared, or gamma equals mc squared? Now anyone with half a brain will realise that whenever someone says E equals mc squared, they probably mean E equals mc squared. But he still asks the question. Anyone with a quarter of a brain would not follow that stupid thing up with, uh, by making up a false equation. Gamma equals mc squared. Not a real equation. You might have been referring to E equals gamma mc squared, which refers to relativistic speeds. But we're left with your equation of gamma equals mc squared. But that gets skipped over, and uh, he goes on to talk more about E equals mc squared, and he says, okay, well, let's have some fun with maths. Let's get rid of the um, letters. So I have no problem with that. He then suggests, okay, let's replace E, which is energy, um, and measured in joules, with 31.25. Okay. He replaces the mass, which is measured in kilograms, with 5. Okay. And he then replaces C, which is the speed of light, measured in meters per second, and should be 3 times 10 to the 8. He replaces it with 2.5. So he can slow down light to 2.5 meters per second. I'm pretty sure I can run faster than that. I'm pretty sure I can walk faster than that. But hey, this is not my big objection. Seriously, there is more to come. He then says, well, let's take M away. Let's make it zero what? Suddenly your 5 kilogram particle becomes weightless. Now, sorry but that doesn't work. Not even the fact that it started off at 5 kilograms, you can't have a weightless particle. He then says, oh yeah, yeah th th there's more. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the bit which I really not fussed with. He then says, let's make C equal zero. That's right. Not only can he slow down light, he can stop it altogether. So C becomes zero. Yeah. Then he brings up the, oh yeah, yeah, there's more. Uh, he then brings up the objection, well, how can this be? Now the equation is E equals 31.25, but E also equals 0. 
this can't be. Again, anyone with half a brain uh, would think, wait a second, chances are, as Einstein did come up with the theory, that I've got my maths wrong, rather than Einstein and every scientist since has got their maths wrong. But no, uh, he continues, and uh, he then says, well, obviously this makes no sense, blah, da, da, blah, da, da, blah. Now, we all know creationists have no ability uh, for mathematics, and usually I wouldn't point on such a thing, but whenever he starts off his email with, look, I'm sure that there are many things that don't make sense to you, what I'm trying to explain, but that's why I'm going to help you. Uh, throughout it, there's a absolutely condescending tone uh, refers to me humping the leg of Richard Dawkins, yeah, because some I didn't even quote him. I just made some very vague reference to what he said once. Um, but anyway, and then he ends it with uh, your logical compass is so messed up that I'd be surprised to see you make it back to your car. This is why I'm jumping on him, because he's an idiot. And the thing is, he doesn't know he's an idiot. He needs to know. I'll put a link at the side of the video to his page, uh, if anyone wants to say hi to him, or let him know uh, that he is a very smart person, then do so. Let him know just how smart he is. Anyways, I shall leave you with that, and have a good summer, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.